Hello, welcome. This is Blockchain Bloom, the Blockchain Educator. I'm Atla Pink, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about that Bitcoin is right now approaching 60,000 US dollar. Today, I've seen Bitcoin already at 59,500 US dollar when I'm recording this uh, video. And this is one thing I would like to talk about. Then, the second thing, it will be that uh, how big is Bitcoin's spot ETF share compared to gold's ETF because it's growing significantly. And the third topic, let's talk about the altcoin market because uh, Bitcoin is going higher and higher, but the altcoin market hasn't really started. So we should definitely look at the chart in my opinion. And uh, yeah, guys, don't forget, every single day I'm making you fresh cryptocurrency and blockchain related videos here on Blockchain Bloom. So if you would like to keep yourself up to date, then simply subscribe to this YouTube channel and also hit the like button if you like this kind of content. And now let's do it. Bitcoin is crazy for sure. Uh, when we're looking at Bitcoin price uh, right now is 59,291. So today we went above 59,000. This is about a 5% increase just in the last 24 hours. Ethereum up 3,344, 2.4% up. Then we're looking at the top gainers, Pepe, another 54% now. Uh, look, in seven days, almost 200%. Arvive, 43. Bong, 50, what's that, 25. Uh, many, many others doing very, very well. And yeah, Theta Network, the one which went uh, recently quite well, 11% down. WorldCoin also went before, now 7% down. Pit Network, 6% down. Uh, so the previous gainers. And when we're looking at here, the candlestick chart, we can see this. Look, this is on the daily. A major green candle, another green candle, another green candle. So let's talk about that. So right now, Bitcoin is approaching 60,000 US dollar, which is here. This is the red line, right? And this could be uh, a kind of resistance level, uh, to be honest with you. But if we break above it, then really, really the next would be uh, going towards all-time high. So we should watch this carefully. It can easily happen that it's working as a resistance. It's going to stop us. Now then we, you know, there will be some correction. There will be sideways movements, which could give a great opportunity actually to old coins if Bitcoin don't start to fall uh, significantly. Or if the FOMO stays as it is right now, we can actually break through and go and actually reach uh, all-time high before the halving. Uh, you can let me know in the comment section what you think about uh, this. Is it possible or is it not? And uh, yeah, so this is basically uh, the article, which is also discussed this fact that, uh, yeah, last time we have seen Bitcoin on this level, it was in the month when Bitcoin has reached its all-time high. So basically in November 2021. And uh, which is crazy. When you're looking at this here, look at this. In many countries, Pakistan, Sierra Leone, Sudan, Turkey, Argentina, um, you know, Egypt, Ghana, Japan, so many countries, so many countries, Bitcoin has already reached its all-time high. And now, uh, today, freshly, uh, the country I'm broadcasting from, it's Hungary. And in Hungarian foreign, look at this, we had around uh, 20.6 million uh, foreign. That was the previous high. And now we are here, which is around 21.4 uh, million Hungarian foreign. So another country, my country basically, which joins the list. And probably, yes, the US dollar going to be the last one. And But on the way up, uh, more and more countries will have uh, all-time high in their own currency. And this is a clear message how bad uh, fiat is to keep a store of value uh, because it's losing its value one day to another, right? So very, very fast. Some currencies faster than others, but the direction is just the same. Uh, right. Okay, now let's move on to the next uh, topic. And the next topic, it's all about that uh, Bitcoin ETF... Uh, about to approaching, uh, you know, 50, 
percent of the size of gold ETF. So that can come up soon. But where is it right now? I'm going to show you in a second. Since it launched, Bitcoin spot ETF. So since uh, 11th of January uh, is very successful. And look at this here. When we compare it to gold ETF, so. As I said, Bitcoin Spot ETF just came out on the 11th of January, a bit more than a month ago. Gold ETF back in 2004. Right now, when we're looking at this, we have 92 billion US dollar in gold ETF, while we have 40 billion US dollar in Bitcoin Spot ETF. And that's already the 30% of gold, you know, that share. And um, many people saying that, you know, uh, 50%, it's coming up soon, and it's going to be like 50-50. And that's really scary because now there are a lot of inflows into bot, uh, Bitcoin, uh, spot ETF. Why? We have a lot of outflows for eight months uh, continuously from gold uh, ETFs. And also very important to mention that Bitcoin has a fixed supply, 21 million, right? Um, so it has scarcity. Over 70% of Bitcoin supply hasn't moved in the past year. It's a uh, period uh, to gold uh, on all fronts. 93% of Bitcoin has been mined, only seven remaining, and gold in theory has unlimited supply because they're always, they find a new uh, place where they can mine gold. So you don't know where it will end, right? While in Bitcoin, you know, the maximum going to be uh, 21 million and already 93% of that is out. So yeah. And that's, that's what the investors feel as well. And that's why we see this FOMO. And that is the reason why the price is going up. Look, already uh, the nine new uh, Bitcoin spot ETF issuers have bought more than 300,000 uh, Bitcoin. Why is that a lot? Because right now, before the halving, just 900 Bitcoin getting into the system. After the halving, which is in two months, just 450 Bitcoin a day. And a bit more than a month, they have bought 300 thousand bitcoin uh, the nine all together so this is a scary accumulation all right and the next topic if now bitcoin goes like crazy old's going to crazy as well let's talk about that so we have seen bitcoin bitcoin is really uh, going up very nicely but when we're looking at the old coins market cap, and this is not including Bitcoin and not Ethereum, so, you know, just all the others uh, apart from these two guys. Um, it's right now also getting in the high where it was uh, right here. Yeah, uh, it was back in, uh, what's that? May. 2022, right? So we're coming back here and uh, right now the market cap, so not including uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum, is at uh, 587 billion US dollar. And look at this here. Uh, let's go back to Bitcoin and go to the wiki, weekly. And look at this here. So we are pretty close here. Another 16% and then we have reached all-time high uh, for Bitcoin. But when we're looking at here, uh, the old coins, from here, we have to go another 92% to reach uh, the all-time high. This is, of course, the market cap. But bottom line is that here, the olds can go significantly. So after Bitcoin, it's hitting the making new all-time highs so getting close to it or now around 60 not dropping significantly but like going side doing sideways moves and holding itself pretty well old coins can grow and you know maybe in the second part of the year uh actually we had could have a crazy old coin market even the market cap of the uh, whole uh, crypto market is increasing as well. Now it's around 2.2 trillion US dollar. At the deepest point of the bear market, uh, around November, December, we had it around uh, 720 million. And the peak was 3 trillion US dollar back in uh, you know November uh, 2021. So that to be broken needs another around 40%, right? And... Uh, yeah, with old coins, with all these others, it it, it, it probably uh, will uh, come maybe sooner than later. So we're going to see it. Uh, you can, you know, let me know what's your guess, what's going to be the new high 
for the crypto markets market cap. The previous one, as I said, was three trillion. Guys, that's it for today. Don't forget, every single day, I'm making you this fresh cryptocurrency and blockchain news here on Blockchain Bloom to keep you up to date. So if that's about it for you, simply subscribe to this YouTube channel and also hit the like button if you like this kind of content. So see you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.